All right. So I've got the classifier loaded up with some really gooey, muddy material. And if I didn't have the classifier in line, all this would just wash right through the sluice, just like any other sluice box. So you're going to see, as I agitate it, you can already see how the water gets dirty, and it will clean it. And then you'll see what we're left with. There is a tremendous amount of gold in this muddy material. Uh, also, uh, there's a lot of rocks and gravel. So it may look like just clay or mud, but watch how it breaks down. And by doing this, it also allows the box just to keep running nice and smooth. You do get a little bit of the moss or some of the roots going through and eventually, like any sluice, they'll get caught up in the, the classifier. So you just go like this and that's it. Sorry, Mr. Worm. All right, so you see this stuff's pretty clean or it's still getting there. That's how muddy and thick it was. There's no way if you just chuck this in a traditional sluice, it would get washed. It would just get washed right out the back. So then you just pick up the classifier, dump it out, and you can see how the box is running. There's a boil. Uh, there's a couple of really, really small microscopic pieces I can see in the riffles. Uh, nothing major yet. We already did one clean out and it was all right. So anyway, I'm just gonna pop this back in line and I'm gonna get back to it. But that was just a quick demonstration of why you would run uh, the jumbo classifier and then I'll do a demonstration later where I'll just run it uh, just by shoveling directly in it and it'll be more sandy gravelly material uh, not as mud laden or clay and as gooey all right thanks for watching look at how beautiful this is